Real TV. This is yours truly. We have another one tonight. It is 1.03 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, USA. I am your host, Michael Israel, and I thank you for joining me tonight. You could be anywhere in the world, but you decided to be here with me tonight in this podcast on Real TV. Today's show is going to be called The Battle of the Senses. That's the name of tonight's show. Late night, so I don't want to stay up too long on the podcast for you. So I know some of you all are early birds and you have to get up early tomorrow for church, right? So um, just to keep you updated with the weather... Because I know that in your neck of the woods, things may be a little chilly or maybe a little mild. Because if you haven't heard, according to the 2018-2019 Farmer's Amulac, or Almanac, rather, El Nino has formed on the Pacific. And with this, it actually warms the water. And it will cause the United States to have mild temperatures for the second week of December and thereafter moving into spring. A very, very mild. Uh, we're talking 70s and dry weather on the East Coast, in the Midwest, all over, as we've talked about this before. But for tomorrow, we're looking at the mid 60s here in the southeast with the high of 58 monday is going to be 66 degrees with partly sunny and partly shower showers for that day with the low of 40 it's going to get a little chilly as the week progresses with 36 and 39 at night high 50s during the day as it comes about to next saturday we're going to be warming up just a notch at 70 degrees during the day and 58 at night no rain for the latter part of the week just for monday so make sure you have a umbrella with you or a little poncho or so again today's show is called the battle of the senses and recently we had the show about detox on the show detox you know there will be temptations where you have to stay away from certain foods. There's going to be certain foods that you like, certain foods that you see, certain foods that uh, smell delicious, and things that are such. But you have to be able to fight temptation. You know, there's a lot of psychology that is placed on the emphasis on our senses when it comes to us accepting whatever it is into a satiety that they want us to accept in regards to these paganistic holidays that are coming up there's a lot of emphasis on the senses what makes you embrace that holiday even more example for christmas you smell the cinnamon you smell the pine you taste the eggnog you taste the quote-unquote turkey and ham, right? You see the light bulbs. You see the light. You touch and put up the Christmas tree. You hear the music. You hear the jangle bells. So you have all of these different things that are involved with your mo emotion that takes it to another level of you embracing the, ho the, the holiday into its entirety. It works in other areas of life, just the same as going on a date. You can go to the movies, and you can eat popcorn and watch a film, and there's nothing to it, unless you take it to the next level, really, where there's touching, you can smell the popcorn, you can see the screen, you can almost feel the vibrations from the sound effects, but when you have going to the movies versus planning a date at a jazz brunch right like a jazz sunday brunch 
You could plan this date for a Jazz Sunday brunch where you can catch a ferry over the water to get to this jazz destination. So you could feel the waves under the ferry boat. You can hear the jazz music once you get into the restaurant. You can taste the food. You can see the band. And not only that, but um, you can, let's say you'll, you'll plan the date around the sunset. So you go at about 530 and you can see the sunset while you're overlooking the view of the water as you look at the sunset. So you have all of these different emotions that can make a date remarkable. It reminds me of this, this restaurant in Chicago called Alenia. It was on this show that's called Chef's Table. And on this show, what makes the restaurant interesting, I actually want to go to this restaurant sometime. Um, to get the experience for the food and for the sake of art that I appreciate. But this chef, he had some type of cancer and he lost his sense of taste. They had to cut off portions of his tongue and portions of his neck. And he couldn't taste food anymore. So instead of retiring from his long life career, over 20 years plus, he decided to create food that dealt with science and the psychology of the mind things that you can see, things that you can hear. For an example, they have a dessert that looks like a balloon. It floats like a balloon, but it tastes like dessert. And it's a balloon. This restaurant was the number one restaurant in the world a few years ago. And this was all based on a level of experience that engulfed all of the five senses. The battle of the senses. This is tonight's show. And. We even see this in. Let's just say common day market strategies. With different grocery stores. We all need groceries. We all need food. So, we have all realized some of these subtle strategies that they use against us to get your dollar and to get your emotion to be their long life customer. Um, when you go into a grocery store, for example, you ever see the beautiful set, setups of, of, the, of the fruit and artisan bread? You can almost smell the pizza that they're cooking from their restaurant. You can feel that they're providing good hospitality, great customer service. They even add the sense of thunder over their fruit they, from the speaker system in their vegetables. So they have a mockery of thunder. And then they have a little mist of water to make it seem like the fruit is fresh. You can touch the fruit and pick it up. You know. They even have the music that plays so softly in the background. And it is a science. It is a science. What I'm saying is this. Is that these paganistic holidays are designed... To keep you entrapped. When the Mosai says that you will be under a strong delusion. You can ensure that his word is true. And if it's strong, it's going to be so strong. It's going to be so strong that it'll take you years to get out of it. You know, I used to trip about the fact that there wasn't a black Santa Claus. Like, dang, how come Santa Claus can't be black? How come it always got to be a white Santa Claus? Why the angels can't be black? You know what I mean? Just tripping over little stuff. That, you know, had nothing to do with the way I truly felt. But it's like I, I, it became a part of me. And it took me years to get away from the lies and deceit. Our high holy days are coming up. Hanukkah, which we do celebrate as men and women of the Most High who are the 
Israelites and Jews and also the Gentiles who come into the truth who know that we as a black generation are royal blood and lineage and how we will have the kingdom again. I, want, I don't want to do a show on Jews and Gentiles at this moment. It is too late. And I don't want to get too far off. You know how I get. But again, just, you know, just back to these stores on things that we, we could relate to. These huge stores, just they have a huge marketing strategy. And they set the communication between the customer and the store. You know, they have the location just right. They have the lighting just right. They display, their displays are, are perfect. Their packaging is, you know what I mean, one of a kind with all their little setups and all. You know, everything to entice the customers, to get you to spend money is easy. You know, they use psychology. They put the milk all the way in the back of the store. Now you got to force your say it force your way and wind your way all the way to the back of the store just to get some milk. And before you get to the milk, you pass them by the cookies, you pass them by the cereal, you know what I mean? You pass them by every little thing that goes with milk. They put the bagels near the jam. They put the jam near the peanut butter. They put the fruit near the shortcake. I mean, talk to me, man. Can we talk? Can we talk for a minute? They put the flowers by the balloons. They put the batteries by the radio. They put the chips by the dip. I mean, come on, can we talk? Can we just talk for a minute? Huh? You know what I'm saying? These grocery stores are a prime example of how they engage in all the five senses. I'm sure when you got your turkey, if you were into that, you wanted to get brine. I'm sure if you got your turkey, you wanted to stuff it with something. Isn't it? weird how the tradition of eating turkey is evil in such a way I'm not saying that it's bad to eat turkey but just the whole setup they have you make a stuffing and they make you put the stuffing up the turkey's anus and then you pull the stuffing out of the turkey's anus you put it on the plate chop it up and eat it up you you see how weird that is? And you top it off with gravy? I mean, all right. All right. Oftentimes or not, they have these deli stores inside of the grocery stores right near the bakery, right near the bread, right near all the cheese just to make your mouth water. Then they hit you up with the samples. They always got some type of sample or something going on. Some type of uh, Vitamix smoothie display set up or something. And then the music. What type of music are they playing? Are they playing like shop, 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 shop. Keep walking around the store and shop, shop, shop. Keep buying this. This looks delicious, delicious, delicious. Like what are they saying? You know what I mean? Are they, are they sending subliminal messages? throughout that music because you go in there for one thing it's like an hour later you're still in the store looking around for everything you know what i mean they even put the starbucks in the coffee you smell that coffee knowing good and well that you came in there for groceries now you're going to starbucks you know what i mean now you're going to subway and walmart you came into Walmart real quick, but you want to stop by McDonald's and get a french fry real quick. Or a french fry before you leave. You know what I mean? They have these overpowering smells. You go in Walmart and they got the whole place smell like chicken wings right in the front. You know what I'm saying? Ah. <sighs> Hopefully you're feeling me on this. Hopefully you understand. Hopefully I'm not the only one that that feels this way about the battle of the five senses. You know? Some people have 
situations that they're trying to get out of. Some people may be addicted to marijuana. And as soon as they smell it, it's like, okay, what we doing? Okay, okay, that's what we doing? Okay, you know? Some people smell it and it's time to roll up. Some people, you know, get high and that's a feeling. You know, you got to crunch up the weed. Some people don't use a grinder. Some people roll, I guess, press it with their fingers. So then you touch it. Um, you smell it. I mean, you, you can, I guess, hear it. If you hear the smoke crackle from when you inhale it and exhale it, you can see the vape or the vapor or what is it, the smoke from your lips. Some people have um, they go through the battle of the senses with gambling. You hear the slots at the casino. You see the money fall down or you see the triple sevens. You hear the music. You can taste the alcohol. There's there's so many different examples um, when we think about it, right? It's like, isn't it a miracle how it's like a person that goes blind can still have vision? Like, I just find it so remarkable. Maybe it's just me, but I find it remarkable when you see a blind man or a blind woman walk. Like, they're walking with just a stick. Even though they can hear and they can smell and they can feel the stick on the sidewalk or the street. And their other senses are heightened. But to be blind, to see in darkness, and to walk and navigate, you're able to see... Without seeing and that, I find that incredible. Some people are able to smell the pheromones of others. Some people smell like peaches. Some people smell like cotton. Some people smell like linen. Some people smell like trash. You know, every one of us have a gift. But then you have different companies who try to help boost your aroma, if you will, with pheromone, colognes, and perfumes. They have so many different little trinkets to help battle the senses. And another thing is that we have more than five senses. Of course, we can see, we can hear, we can taste, we can smell, we can touch. But we also have a sense of balance. If you close your eyes. And if you were on a seesaw. Or on a swing or something like that. Or if you were with your eyes closed and you had to walk in a straight line. Um, you would have to like hold your balance somehow. You see what I'm saying? Like, we have balance. That's a that's like another sense. We can feel, if we're going fast or slow, like if we're on a plane, you could say that it's a feeling, but I guess we could call it acceleration. Like, you could tell if you're going fast. You could tell if you're about to slow up, but whether you're on a roller coaster ride, whether you're in the car, whether you're jogging, whether you're walking, whether you're in a vehicle, you know what I mean? We can feel temperature. We know when it's hot, when it's cold. That's another sense. Um, we can feel hunger. We know when we're hungry. Our body sends us different signals then. You know, it makes me wonder if there's different levels to our senses. Like, we can hear fear. We can hear, like, if someone is crying in agony or out of fear. But yet, we can hear when someone is happy. When someone is laughing, when someone has a sense of joy, we can hear those things. 
And then there's like another sense. I don't know what you would call it, but you look over your shoulder and someone's looking at you. Some just told you to look like, what is that? Like, that's another sense. Or someone's looking at you, you're eating something and then you just drop the food from your fork. You know, is that person that was staring you down? Did they use some type of sense to like kind of make your food drop from your fork? Is it just me or like sometimes when like people are staring at you and you're eating, it's like your mouth gets a little bit tinier than what it really is. And like you can't really chew right, <laughs> you know, we have different senses. And today's show, again, is called Battle of the Senses. I don't want to make this too long, but again, we're going through some things that in this world, we're being tested all the time with so many different things, so many different temptations, so many different situations that we have to understand that we can make it through. Before we go, uh, we're going to finish up with uh, a couple of songs. It is Sabado. And some people don't go to the nightclub. Some people stay home, like myself, and probably want a little action. So we're going to play uh, four songs tonight to finish it off. But there's a scripture that I want to read to you. It's coming from 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. I was going to read these uh, two verses in particular, but... Why not go all the way down to the 16th verse? So we're going to start from, pardon me, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 1, all the way through 16. And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of Yahweh. For I determined not to know anything among you, save Yeshua the Mashiach. And him crucified. And I was with you in weakness. And in fear. And in much trembling. And my speech and my preaching. Was not with enticing words of man's wisdom. But in demonstration of the spirit. And of the power. But your faith should not stand. In the wisdom of men. But in the power of Yah. Howbeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect. Yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world that come to naught. But we speak the wisdom of Yahweh in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom, which the Elohim ordained before the world unto our glory, which none of the princes of this world knew. For had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, I hath not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which Yahweh, our heavenly Father, hath prepared for them that love him. I want to say this one more time, but as it is written, I hath not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which Yahweh, our heavenly Father, hath prepared for them that love him. But Yahweh hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit, for the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of Yahweh. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of Yah knoweth no man, but the spirit of Yah. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit of which is of our heavenly Father, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of our Heavenly Father, which things 
also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Ghost teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of our Heavenly Father, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. For who hath known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. That was something that I want to share with you. And I figure why not? You know, there's always some type of news on the news. So why not start off with not on the mainstream news really quick just to see what we got here. I'm sure there's something up. So uh, let's see. Go over a few slides here. Hmm. Wow, not on the mainstream news. Russia and China ditching dollar for national currencies payment system to avoid sanctions. Wow, this is pretty serious, guys. This is pretty serious here. Russia and China are ditching the American dollar. Moscow and Beijing. There's an article back in 19... I want to say 88. Where the Rothschilds... Quote unquote predicted the American currency collapsing in 2018. Of course they're the private bankers. They're the private institution that owns, you know, a lot. Of course they predict it. They're creating it. So here's the thing. When the dollar collapses, there's going to be a cryptocurrency. And what I'm convinced of is since the Bitcoin currency collapsed, I'm convinced that Bitcoin was just merely a smokescreen or merely a test to see how the world would accept cryptocurrency so with the collapse of bitcoin they could easily just wheel in some new cryptocurrency of the u.s which china and russia wouldn't take part in anyways since their monetary system is backed by gold and silver now here's the thing the scripture says that no man will be able to buy or sell without the mark of the beast and it talks about neither silver nor gold, like you won't be able to use. Now, however, before the mark of the beast, for a quick period of time, there will be a serious inflation of silver and gold, so much so that a gram of it can run you five, six thousand dollars just for a gram of gold or silver. I'm talking about a three thousand, four thousand increase, four thousand percent increase. In silver and gold. So just for a period of time. If you have that. Monetary system. You may be able to, to, to cash out. With whatever currency. There is at the time. However. That's only for a limited. Amount of time. I want you to think of this. As we talked about this on other shows. But. Our economy will not be the same. The American economy will crash and the whole world will follow thereafter. If you think that Black Friday is a turmoil, when you see people looking for deals, dying over TVs, people being 
trampled by the crowd, pregnant women being stomped on to death because there's so many people running over them. People running for tennis shoes, T-shirts, jeans, coffee makers, panini makers, and whatever else is on sale. If you think people are going crazy for this, for Black Friday, just goods that are on sale, think about the destruction and the amount of people that will be literally killed when the food is no longer being imported and exported in the United States and across the world. When the shelves are bare, when it's the last 20 gallons of water on the shelf, when it's the last bit of fresh fruit, when it's the last bit of tuna, when it's the last bit of toilet paper and wet wipes and insure and snacks and juice and whatever else that it is that are goods that are of some type of nutritional value and or protection or pleasure or equipment that can be used people are going to go haywire it's going to make black friday look like child's play people will literally be literally be killing people over these goods all because of the battle of the senses because they don't have enough to taste they don't have no pleasure to listen to they don't have any tv or internet to see the internet will be down they won't have any facebook to see no instagram to see no phone to press their buttons on to send a message to like a like People are going to lose it. And we have to be mindful and prepared. We have to be mindful and prepared. I'm not saying be a fear monger. But we have to be wise as serpents. The first thing you do is pray. The second thing you do is be wise as a serpent. Our Heavenly Father gave Noah strict instructions to build the ark. And to stow food for him and his family. I'm not calling you a doomsday prepper. And I'm not telling you to be one. But when you're in spirit. You know what you got to do. Alright. Um, let's see here. If we got another article here. Not on the mainstream news, fast food restaurant in Honolulu closes after viral video shows Cook grilling a dead rat. I don't even know if we need to go deep into this, but this this is uh this is crazy. I don't even want to see the video. We got people doing all type of Oh man. Oh, it's crazy. Nah, I don't I don't want to see the video. Uh, let's see, not on the mainstream news, police finds loads of cash in washing machine. Authorities also find cell phones, a gun, and a money counting machine. Wow, this was in Amsterdam, I'm not surprised. $350,000 in euros was found hidden in the drum of a washing machine. That's almost $400,000 in USA money. Wow, I'm not shocked about that. They have a lot of drugs and prostitution. And speaking of prostitution, do you all know that they're taxing prostitution now? Prostitutes got to pay taxes now on that. <laughs> um, let's see what else what, what we have here really quick. I know we're getting into the latter part of the show. Let's see. You know what? I think that's going to do it for tonight. I do want to make this a short show. I didn't expect it to be this long. But I'm still glad we're able to have this moment here on Real TV. We got four songs coming to you. Um, one is a new one. It's called Q&A. Fresh. 
hot off the press. After Q&A, we have Static. And after Static, we have an old classic, an oldie but goodie. It's going to be called Voicemail. And after Voicemail, we're going to finish out with Fairy Tale. So we're going to play these back-to-back -back jams for you tonight on this Sabado. And I hope that your evening as well. Stay tuned for the next podcast and videos. I'm your host, Michael Israel. If this is your first time tuning in, just, just let me give you a round of applause and thank you. <laughs> Y'all are far too kind. And again, to my regulars, I want to thank you. Thank you for your love and support. All the comments, uh, I try to get to all of them. I sent a few of you some emails so you can watch the Diddy video if you haven't already. But let's just move forward to the next portion of videos that we should do. I have some scriptures that are going to be coming up in the near future on our holy books. Um, you know, in this time of the year, it's not just pagan holidays that are going to be coming up that some people are going to be celebrating and some people are trying to get away from. But we have our holy days coming up where we will feast and we will celebrate. Uh, we'll talk about more of that as the time gets closer. Again, coming up to you back to back, we have Q&A, we have static, we have voicemail and fairy tale. Have a wonderful evening and good night. Q&A. We got another one. And I've got a lot of questions. I mean, I have some of the answers, but I, I've got questions and I need answers. I'm going to do this in one take. Here we go. How you tell me you straight, but your mood ain't right. How did we make it to the moon when the moon is light? Somebody line. Somebody tell me why. I know why. Because they're afraid of light. If the whole world knew the truth, the whole world would cry. Mmm, yes, the whole world would fight. And the pop goes a weasel, it'll look like 4th of July. It'll look like World War III, it'll look like 4th of July. Potato and patata, tomato and tomato. Some people say his name Jesus, and the devil wears Prada. Well, I say nada, I call him by his proper. Yah is the father, and yes, I know Yahweh. Life is just a snack, just wait until the entree. You'll find yourself, and yourself will be found. Admire who you are, don't be frowned. If you live this life right, you'll get a white gown. So smile, hold up, tell me this. Why do people think that they're so invincible? They'll walk by you, can't say hi like you're invisible. Then they act like they made a pact with the devil. Then act so mystical and so whimsical. Like money is not dispensable. It's not typical to be that difficult. Like you're in a cult. So carry your little behind over there back in the yard. Acting like you a dog. Unless you want to spar. You are not a god. So why you acting hard? And no, I didn't check organ donor on my identification card. All right. What's up with the moon? Why the sky blue? Is the world round? Is the world flat? Who's the real Jew? And why my skin black? Who's the real you? Ask yourself that. What's up with the moon? Why the sky blue? Is the world round? Is the world flat? Who's the real Jew? Why my skin black? Who's the real you? Ask yourself that. What's up with the android? What's up with the humanoid? What's up with Siri? Why she acting all serious? Like she got her own voice. What's up with the government? Why they always trying to cover... Mm, never mind. Wouldn't give a peppermint to an old veteran that's looking for some money in a lifestyle change that's looking for some betterment. They're doing some embezzling. It's not so puzzling. No, we got the covenant. They made me want to get a stick and get the key and have a moving like a chicken, like a. Oh, no, never mind. I ain't. 
let me chill. Let me keep it real. Let me chill. Let me keep it real. What's up with the moon? Why the sky blue? Is the world round? Is the world flat? Who's the real Jew? And why my skin black? Who's the real you? Ask yourself that. I can tell you why the sky is blue. The sky is blue because of the sapphire that is a part of the heavenly floor in heaven. And it shines on the earth that gives its blue hue. And it's incredible. It's just amazing. It's just one of the answers that I have. But I have a lot of questions. And I have answers that I need. Q&A. Sometimes you just have to explain the way you feel. You just have to just... I'm not a rebel. Hell no, I don't worship no devils. Please don't make me be wrathful. All vengeance to the most high. I know inside you feel empty. Just pray and the most high is with me it's what you need to say to yourself to be productive don't try to go and measure the sin because it's a lot of pleasure the rainstorm is raining why now abundance going to me right now don't be madly and don't be deceived Don't eat the fruit like Eve Don't try to be a shame This life is not a game I'm about to go on a rampage I need the most high to save Oh, right now, this is a rage I know the sound is heavy. This is not heavy metal. The heavenly father is mine. Oh, mine. He's in my life. Don't try to ask me why. Are you not a part of the flock? You are like a boat on a dock. God is the opposite of dogs. Fifth Avenue is where they shop. Distribution, old fashioned, the gorgeous. Yes, these words are really gorgeous. If you understand it, you can afford it. Harmonious birds punish rats quickly good Stocking the stair, don't bump your toe in the ocean Why are you people still voting? For the wrong person that's not God ah! Baby girl, stay close to me. Hold up. Let me play this Josie. I got this feeling that you own me. I can tell by the way that you're holding me. I would like to get to know you on a different level that I've never, ever been on before, ever. My pillow is stored in your mind, inside of your mind with my pillows and covers tonight. To spend the night in your mind to get to know you and yours. Your mind, I'm yours. Baby girl, I know that you have been hurt. I know that I can't fix that. We already know that I can't fix that. I mean, I'm sorry, baby girl. Look, look, I know this is a long voicemail, but I got to get this voicemail across to you and your heart, babe. I got to get this voice out. I need you to hear my voice now. I know I had about five drinks. I know right now that I can't think. I know this song is a freestyle. I know right now that it's been a while. And if it's been a while, in the meanwhile, I got to let you know right now that my heart, my heart is on my sleeve. My heart is on my sleeve. Will you accept me? Will you care for me like I care for you? 
Listen, I can't take that back. That thing that I did, I no, I can't take that back. I love you. Look, I love you. And I promise that. I mean, look, let me scratch that. My yes is yes, my no is no. I ain't trying to promise nothing until the time is right, but I don't want you to stop believing me or nothing. I know that was... <laughs> I know that was crazy. I know. I know. I wasn't even on the beat. This not even on the beat. And I know I'm talking. And I know I'm drunk. I know I'm sleepwalking. And I know that my heart talk. And I know that I'm heart stalking. And I know that you know me. And I know you. And we've been through some old stuff that we can't change. But I'm a change man. I got new plans. I can get that car. I can get that house. I can get that crib. And I got that dope. And I keep that money coming in through that dope. You don't gotta worry about nothing. You don't even gotta work. I'd be a good man. I could try to start going to church. I am a good man. I am a good man. I wasn't a good man. I'm trying to be a great man. And I really got a great plan. I mean, like five, ten years from now, I see. Well, I mean, I see so many things that I can't even talk about right now. I gotta go. This voicemail long. I gotta go. This song yeah, is too long. This is chill music. music, uh-huh, this is chill music, yeah, this is real music, you are beautiful, you have to understand this, okay, and you are a handsome person, you have to understand this, okay, beauty from the inside out, okay, not from the outside in. All right. And I know that everything is going to be okay. I'm here to tell you don't worry. Don't worry about a thing. Everything is going to be all right. And I know that you might think that things won't be okay, but it will. Fairy tales do come true.